Jack Dangara is a world famous specialist in computer science field. He came to South Ural State University to take part in conference. The main topic is parallel computer technologies. American scientists delivered public lecture to our students. And after that he had a meeting with the rector of our university, Alexander Shostakov. This is my second visit to Russia and um, uh, I look forward to uh, many more visits and to engage in um, collaborative work with uh, some of my colleagues here. Jack Dangara is a distinguished professor of computer science at the University of Tennessee. He is also known as one of the authors of top 500 list of the fastest computers in the world. That's why he couldn't pass by the supercomputer center of South Ural State University. This supercomputer center combines different scientific schools and different faculties. It is heart of innovative and technological development of our university. Professor from the USA visited TV broadcasting company Susu TV. During this excursion, Jack Dangara looked really interested in the work of student journalists. We have two cameramen. This That's is number one. Yes. Yeah, That's number one. one and number two is working okay. in, in other place. Yes. So, and they are so busy, like every minute counts. After excursion, Jack Dangara kindly agreed to come to our studio and answer some questions. So, um, hello, Mr. Dangara. We are really glad to see you here. Um, as I know, this is your second visit to Russia. You have already been to a Moscow State University, yeah? That's correct. Uh, so why uh, did you choose our university to visit? Well, I uh, had an invitation to come and give a talk uh, at this uh, conference, so I, um, I took that uh, invitation and uh, it was a pleasure to, uh, to visit uh, Russia uh, for the second time. It's a pleasure for us too. Uh, so, uh, could you describe maybe your impressions of our university? Well, I was, uh, I was very impressed at the size of the university, having uh, over 40,000 students. In our university there are 20, uh, 26,000 students, so you have uh, clearly a much larger uh, campus. And it was also very nice to see such a large uh, group uh, here at the conference, uh, so that was, uh, that was a pleasure, over 200 people, I think. Okay, and now, how would you evaluate the level of supercomputer technologies at our university? Well, as, um, uh, as I was talking today, um, you know, we, we, uh, we have this ranking of supercomputers. We rank uh, the 500 fastest uh, supercomputers. Yeah. And uh, here in Russia, there are eight uh, supercomputers that are considered to be one of the 500 fastest uh, supercomputers. If you wanted to study what happens to, let's say, two galaxies that are colliding, that's an experiment that's pretty hard to, to do, right? You can't, you can't have two galaxies collide, but you can do that on a computer. So it gives us an opportunity to study things which perhaps are very hard to, uh, to study uh, otherwise. So, okay, maybe uh, you can name some other advantages of having a, such a good supercomputer for students, you know, at the, the university. What can it uh, give to the uh, educational process? Well, it's a wonderful tool for education. It provides the students with really a unique uh, feature that they will not find in any other uh, environment. Uh, they have the opportunity to use one of the most sophisticated uh, tools for doing scientific uh, discovery. So it really provides not only uh, a tool that gives great insight into science, but also a way to get people together to, uh, to function in a way that uh, stimulates and encourages scientific discovery. All right, yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Zingara, for coming. We are really glad to see you here and we Hope that you will come to our university again and maybe we will meet at this studio again. It was a pleasure to be here. I, I'm enjoying my visit uh, here and uh, look forward to uh, coming back again. Thank you. Thank you.